Good morning, everybody. It's lovely to see you all here, and it's brilliant to be gathered to celebrate Children's Day today. So, our notices for the week, and they're not many notices. The first is that after this service, the young people will be having games, McDonald's lunch, Bouncy Castle, and the rest. So, I hope you have a lovely time after the service, as well as during the service. And there's no boys brigade, there's no girls brigade because they finished for the summer. But there is parents and tots on Tuesday morning, and there is prayers in church on Thursday morning. And next Sunday will be a very special service because we'll be saying thank you to a very special woman. I'll say no more, but she sat there very quietly. <laughs> <laughs> so Alison has promised to pick a selection of her favourite hymns and music for that service. So I can't wait to hear what you're picking. So I think that's all the notices. Um, is there anything else I haven't mentioned? No? Lovely. Well, our words of invitation on the sheet. Please stand, because it's in keeping with the theme of the service. And it's about, these words of invitation, are about our intention, our families together. Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. And we remain standing to sing, This is the Day.
And Lord, we thank you for human families, for those who love us and care for us, for our mums and particularly this day, for dads. Thank you for them. Bless and strengthen them. May they be an example of love and patience and strength and courage in their families. Lord, you know how often we mess up. We forget to care for our parents, our brothers and sisters, or our children. We forget to care for those around about us. We're too quick to say bad things and not quick enough to say kind of things. Lord, you know all the things that we do where we mess up and upset others. So Lord, today we ask you to forgive us. Forgive us of all those failures when we fail to live up to the standard of your children. So Lord, forgive us and set us back on the right path so that we can follow you afresh with strength and hope and love and faith. And finally, Lord, we draw together all our prayers in the prayer that your Son, Jesus, taught his friends. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now I understand that in children's church, one of the favourite activities of the young people, or the older young people, is word searches. So, I have put a word search on the sheets. You have just a couple of minutes. And uh, there's, you've got it. All right, that's everybody else except Laura. <laughs> okay, so I want you to find out as quickly as you can the theme of the service and then there's two other words in there, which perhaps you haven't got. Well, there's the theme of the service, yes. and then there's two extra words. Uh, All right? So we'll just give you a, a couple of minutes to work it out. It's 
food. Teddy and who? Now, Laura, will you come up here? And just yes. Explain Teddy and the food. So it's about keeping God in the centre of your life. And the aim of the game was to throw the Teddy into the hook and see how difficult it is to do from a further field. So some of them were very good at it, I wasn't very good at it. Right. But I'm be keeping God in the centre of your life, even if things are tough. <laughs> I couldn't find a Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
You can tell him all the things that have made you really happy, all the things that you've enjoyed, all the things that you want to be thankful for. But you can also tell him about all the times you've messed up and done things wrong, the times you've hurt people, the times you've knowingly done something wrong. It's wonderful to be able to talk to somebody who will listen. And then if you ask honestly for them to forgive, God does forgive us. So it's wonderful to have a friend that you can talk to in complete confidence and be really honest about the things that are going on in your life. Also about the things that worry you as well. You can always talk to God. Now you can also talk to teachers, you can talk to parents, you can talk to trusted friends as well. But God is there, right in the centre, and he wants to hear from us. So, we can ask God as well to help other people. You know, when things have gone badly for other people, when they're ill, or when we hear about tragedies across the world, we can ask God to be with those people and to help them. And another thing that we can do is to worship. To sing praises to God, whether it's by yourself at home, a favourite song, worship song that you've learned at school, or whether it's together here in church, all of us worshiping together. Worship is about recognizing how great God is and about giving him the honor that he really needs. And actually the clue of being together is really important. Worshiping together is one of the most important things we can ever do. Because when we worship together, we're connected together. From the youngest to the oldest, from the people on the brother's side and the people on the sister's side. From the people who've been members of this church for many, many years to the people who've just come in through the door. We're all connected to each other and we all worship together and become one family. So, I wanted to show you, right, how we connect to each other. Show you that? Ha ha. Right, I'll hold on to the end. Oh, whoops. <laughs> right, you hold on to a bit and throw it on to someone else. <laughs> hold on, Laura. Right, you can throw it backwards off.
When one person is missing, then there's something really important missing in the whole church. So we'll gather this up together. I think I'm completely tired of it now. <laughs> but I want you to remember that each and every person here is important. And we are much stronger together. We belong together. We're God's family together in this place. So that's one way of keeping God in the centre of our lives. And as we gather up the wall, we're going to sing, Bind Us Together, Lord. He wants us to forgive each other, 
He wants us to be kind. He wants us to be good. He wants us to be faithful. And that's all about sticking with things. Committing yourself and sticking with it. He wants us to be gentle with each other and gentle with other people. He wants us to have self-control, not to fly off on the latest mad craze or fly into a temper, but have self-control. God wants us to be generous with what we have, and we are blessed with so much. We do sometimes think we'd like more, and we haven't got enough money to do everything we want. But actually, we have enough money usually to have everything we need. But God wants us to be generous but not just money, with our time too, with our friendship, with our love. There's all different kinds of ways of being generous. God wants us to serve and help other people. Not because we want to be seen to be good, but because Jesus gave us a brilliant example of helping other people. And God wants us to avoid doing all the things that hurt other people. And again, we're going to be led through the liturgy in that by the young people in a minute. But I love that phrase of exuberance in that version of the Bible reading. God wants us to be exuberant in our faith, in our love, in our generosity. So we're going to sing a song that we sang in Holiday Bible Club a couple of years ago. I've got joy, I've got that joy, joy, joy. And she got out of the car and realized that she didn't have her silver coin. She couldn't find it anywhere. She checked under the bed, but, but couldn't find anything. 
Then she walked over and then checked behind the picture frame, but it wasn't there either. There, she found it. I better call my friends and have a party. Let's go drive and, and pick them up. find my sheep. Maybe he's up, he's up the tree. Oh, I found him. Let's go home. Let's get you back in your nice pen. It's party time!
for our last pick. Laura wants to say a few words. I just want to say thanks to Samantha and to Chair, even though she's not here, so clearly you're going to have to. And to Ash as well for all your help during the year. But some skill and just a big time to say thank you.